Bible prints from my collection, this time around, Doubting Thomas. I have a, my personal collection many fine antique and vintage Bible prints. The one I'm showing you today dates to the 1840s and is a woodcut print. What is a woodcut? I'm glad you asked. Wikipedia says the following. Woodcut, occasionally known as xylography, is a relief printing artistic technique in printmaking in which an image is carved into the surface of a block of wood, with the printing parts remaining level with the surface, while the non-printing parts are removed, typically with gouges. The areas to show white are uh, cut away with a knife or chisel, leaving the characters or image to show in black at the original surface level. The block is cut along the grain of wood, unlike wood engraving, where the block is cut in the end grain. The surface is covered with ink by rolling over the surface with an ink-covered roller, known as a briar, leaving ink upon the flat surface, but not in the non-printing areas. The print I'm showing you is a very special one to me because it is uni a un unique depiction of an event from the New Testament. Here we see uh, Thomas, doubting Thomas, examining the Lord Jesus to make sure it is really him. I know that the Lord Jesus uh, has been at my side through thick and thin, and yet there have been times when I have doubted. We have all had those times, I'm sure. The scene depicted here is from the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verses 26 through 29. Precious verses that we all should be able to relate to. The Word of God reads, And after eight days again his disciples were within, and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus to the door, um, through to the door being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, Peace be unto you. Then he saith to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but be believing. And Thomas answered, and said unto him, My Lord and my God. And Jesus saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. The Lord Jesus is with us always, even when we doubt. Let me give you an example from my own life. Many years ago, my first marriage broke up after almost 15 years. I was a Christian then, and yet I was horribly despondent, and my faith was at a low ebb. Rather than trusting God to take care of me and my children, I took matters into my own hands and made a disaster of them. I saw in, re in retrospect that as I attempted to kill myself and failed, that Jesus never left my side. I doubted, but he was there, willing to take care of everything, if I would just let him. How often we are in Thomas's sandals, so to speak. I try now to remember always, but I never walk alone, because my blessed friend, Lord and Savior, is always by my side, and he'll be by your side also, even when you think he's not.